YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is LaDonna. I am a homeschooling mom of two, and on my channel, I just like to share what we're learning, how we're growing, and what God is doing in our lives. Today's video is going to be a flip through of the curriculum I'm planning to use with my soon to be sixth grader. Now I'm going to show this to you in just a minute and you're going to notice that it is grade level five. I purposely did that because we have never used this reading curriculum before. This curriculum is set up to be done in half of a year or you can spread it out for the entire year. My plan is to just allow him to go through this at his own pace. If he goes through this quickly and we like it, we will purchase the grade level six reading. If it's something that he can only handle two days a week, I'm going to allow him to just do it two days a week. So for reading, if you haven't seen our curriculum videos, we will be using CLE level five reading. So what I have right here are the five light units. There's only five. And then I have the reader right here. The title of this reader is Open Windows, and this is a part of their reading series. Um, this book is a hardback book. I think that it is very well made. My plan is to take these light units and the reader and give you a peek inside. I feel like there's a whole lot out there for the younger grade levels when it comes to CLE, but when I was looking for, you know, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, I really couldn't find anything. So I just want to give you a peek and provide a reference point for other mamas who are looking. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, mamas, I have flipped the camera around and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to give you a peek into the light units as well as the reader. I'm gonna push the reader off to the side just for a moment and show you again that there are only five light units for this level and we will get started with the first light unit. So, here we go. So you see the contents right here, some instructions, and lesson one. And as you can see, that was the end of lesson one right here, and we get started with lesson two. So there's some instructions again. And then that's where lesson two ends and lesson three picks up. Lesson four. And then quiz five right here. Lesson six. I don't know if you've been able to catch it yet, but for each lesson, there seems to be a focus on a type of literary device, as well as story comprehension and vocabulary. There's a looking back section as well. I really appreciate that. Here we are on lesson eight. Lesson nine. Here is quiz one right here. For those of you who don't know, the quizzes and tests are in the middle of the light units. So you just have to go through and take those out individually. So those were a few of the quizzes. Here is the test. There is a teacher's guide with, um, with an answer key. So we finished that up. Here is lesson nine. Let's see if I can turn this. 
Lesson 10 is a quiz, and then lesson 11. So again, the same format throughout. Comprehension is highlighted. Looking back is highlighted. Vocabulary. There's a focus on literary devices. I don't know if you've been able to see the instructions yet, but the student is to read independently and orally. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work that out yet. My son is a fantastic reader, so we'll just see. The lessons seem to be pretty short and concise, which is exactly what I was looking for. My purpose for this curriculum is to just prepare him for middle school and high school literature. We have not had a curriculum just for reading, so this is a first time for us. And then that's the end of light unit one. You can see it right there, 501. So I'm just gonna come over here and grab four. Give you a flip through there. So again, some contents and direction. So here we are, lesson one. And then lesson two seems to follow the same format. Lesson three, I really appreciate the vocabulary focus. There seems to be a mix of the type of questions, whether it's multiple choice, they have to write it out, some type of activity, which I know my son will really appreciate. It helps keep it fresh for him. I don't know if your kids feel the same way, but mine tend to like it. So here we are again, the quizzes. And the manual, the teacher's manual, tells you how to use them. There's also instruction when to give the quiz or the test if that's something you choose to do. So here we are, lesson nine. have reached the end of this light unit. Okay, so I think that that gives you a general idea as to what the light units look like. Again, there are only five of them and you can use them any way you would like. If you want to spread it out through a year or if you want them to do one level half a year and another level the next half, it's totally up to you. But here is the reader. As you can see, it's hardback. It's not very thick. It is very well made. So I'm just going to open this up so you can have a peek. So you have your table of contents. And it just jumps right in. There are illustrations throughout this book. There aren't many, but there are enough. And I think that's appropriate for this grade level. I wanted to give you an idea as to how long 
the stories were in this book. So that's my purpose for giving you the flip through. It does tell the student where to start and where to stop, or if the student is to read the entire thing in one setting. There is a rotation between stories and poetry. I have noticed that. And I don't know if you've been able to see it, but the vocabulary words are bold font, which I appreciate. I think that that is definitely beneficial for the student. that is the end of the book friends okay I hope that this was helpful I hope that this kind of gave you a better idea as to what the reading curriculum for CLE looks like anyway friends this is what I have for you thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time